Hey guys, Aaron Kurtz here. And I wanna talk about a pattern that has been running in my life. It has looked different throughout the years, but I wanna talk about this false belief that it represents and then also the truth that has come in its place for me that may benefit you. Um, you know, what I'm talking about is something that either this comes about through all the little tra childhood traumas, which we can talk about, like the attachment wounds, um, you know, did your mother not hold you enough? Did you, did, like all this stuff, like, is it really worth finding out the exact reason, like, that almost every human's gonna come out of childhood with some form of, or was it a belief system you took on and uh, that you learned? What happened? And this feeling is one of not being good enough and a feeling of needing fixed. I need to fix myself, fix this feeling I have inside of me. What I developed early on was this uh, this belief that anger was not a good thing. Sadness was not a good thing. Those are dangerous. Anger was wrong, sinful. And so through that, I developed this own set of beliefs of how I should be. And my subconscious during that time came up with this personality that was not gonna be angry, not gonna be sad, and I needed to feel good. Um, I had to make myself feel good. And the way I did this was by taking on rigid belief systems. Uh, I used Christianity. Uh, reading my Bible, praying, evangelizing, all these things to make me feel, to work with these feelings I had about myself. Well, as I progressed and started to kind of somewhat look into this thing, I, I started dropping some of that. I moved on towards more of the, um, the self-help areas of breathing, meditation, tapping, um, yoga, over exercise, like exercise, restrictive diets, carnivore, intermittent fasting, you guys may be familiar with those. I took that on, that was the next thing. That was what's gonna help me fix what I'm feeling inside. That's what I needed to do. And you knew that, looking back, you know the energy behind it was one of needing. You need this thing, and going without it would ruin your whole day. Um, so, I should also add, trying to find and correct your childhood trauma is another trap for me. And, Again, trying to find something to replace what I was feeling inside of me. And um, I did not trust myself or my body. And there was this, um, this need for something outside of me to give me something that I felt I lacked inside of me. So I believe that I was this, this feeling of lack that I needed something outside of me externally to provide that I didn't have already. So for me, it was understanding that I was living with this belief that I am not enough and that I need fix. And that I was looking for the answers all out there to do that. And so understanding that things that I'm doing that I need every day to keep me right are part of just covering up that belief and then letting go of the need for those things. Now, I gave up some things, like going to church, uh, restrictive diets. There's things that I, as I work through this, I realize I just don't, at my time in my life, it's not a good, it's not good for me right now. And so, but there's a lot of things you can still keep as the energy behind why you do what you do shifts and changes. You may drop some things, you may wanna choose to keep those things because of what you want in your life, and so, that is um, a key difference. But the main thing that all this did was it kept me from engaging in my own life, living my life. All these, this belief system trickled down to that effect. And so um, the main truth that was missing was that the magic that I looked for and all those things was inside of me the whole time. I gave permission to those things to add value to me. It was all trying to fix those feelings. So the work is, man, this the, the, the belief, the work in actually taking on this belief that the magic is actually in you 
you are enough is actually being with those feelings now. You're no longer medicating and suppressing. You're actually taking those feelings, anger, sadness, and you're taking it with you, whatever it is. You're taking it with you to work. You're taking it with you. It's gonna feel that way. It's gonna feel like it's just, it's just hanging around inside of you and it's gonna drive you crazy for a little bit. Uh, but that's part of the healing process. It's welcoming and back these emotions from childhood that we have just neglected and put away. And so um, that's the work. And so go to church, eat the way you want to, take your ice baths. It doesn't matter, but realize and know that you are the one that makes all those things work. You give it the magic. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe this video, share with friends. Um, that can help anybody, so thank you.